in the opposition right now. Seven or, or W seven M right now looking to you know continue off of an incredible performance from the open qualifiers, uh, making a deep run there, taking down really impressive teams. So if they can continue to bring that energy here, I think that they're going to be putting themselves in a fantastic position. Yeah, one of the newest teams in Brazil, W seven M Academy, recently signed and have already made some impact here in the south american space they took down bestia in a 2-0 to get to the close qualifier so i mean ab the youngest team in this bracket by far even over 9z who themselves can be considered a young team so we'll see how they fare against paqueta already jumping on into the b side w7m not wasting any time neither will this flank jay-z though combines with his teammates to try and put this all together players leaping at each other but all of a sudden it's three kills back and forth oh w7 academy they were thinking about fighting that top banana spot, but they weren't. they're gonna go ahead and back on away instead. Yell and Venom Zera making their way up from top banana, and the T's begin to entrench themselves. Zede behind coffins, and Foku trying to play around this emo pillar, bait for his teammate, and it works wonders. Zede cleans up, and W7M will pick up the pistol on their map pick of Inferno. I love that little split second decision there from. 7WM as well to decide not to fight towards the top of Banana, but instead start to lock in a crossfire with the two remaining players. That's a really good readjustment, a really wise readjustment there, not to overcommit to an aggressive movement there. And it ends up working wonders for them in that crossfire. Great closure coming through from them. But of course, Paquette to bring in that force by thereafter. So five sevens. I think this has been the meta changing gun right here. One shot to the head at medium range. With a fast fire rate, and you'll probably never ever need to reload with 20 bullets in the magazine. So we'll see. But yeah, W7M, real interesting story. This team only formed a couple months ago, back in March. And they're trying to make an impact here. And the challenger close qualifier and really upset some of the balance in this south american space with some of the heavy hitters like pain gaming and zero zero nation out and abroad this is a, a ripe opportunity for this squad to take some of the slots here in south american counter-strike no question honestly uh some of these like academy rosters have really popped up recently in the south american region as well uh, i think that's been popping as of lately and so it's very exciting a lot of opportunities going on in that uh, region right now and it's really proving to be uh, a good investment as well with some of the talent that these guys have proved so far so very exciting stuff coming through and we'll see if that will continue here as the a execute follows up they're ready with a crossfire with the five seven Oh, the Destiny, though! What was that? What? The transfer from the 5-7! It's not what? supposed to do that. Now it's left in a 1v2. That yell's just gonna end on the spot. What was that from Destiny? Oh my god, the quickness in that second kill, man. It looked like a teammate had done it or something. It surely wasn't him. There's absolutely no way he was able to transfer it that fast, man. That, that looked unbelievable. Paqueta robbed that second round conversion away from them. That is so, so beautiful. And honestly, man, a continuation of that heat up, man. This guy played a monster second map versus 9C. And now he looks to continue that forward. But ooh, early as hell, he just got sent into the Wolves. Yeah, Venom Zero is going to at least get the trade back. These pistols can still get dangerous. One kill could lead to another, but oh, man, Destiny. Another headshot for him. Sadzin really in need of some miracle. And you might get it. Destiny still under pressure from multiple angles. Has to bring out the pistol. And all of a sudden things go wrong. Ale is going to be able to save this round though. Gets the trade and Jay-Z to get the plant. Ale already fast on the flank. Down to half health now. And with Venom Zera close in tow this will have to be a hell of a sequence from jay-z to get this job done and the nade is not going to make things easier as the jump up the swing the shadow spotted absolutely but all it runs out of ammunition and jay-z given an opportunity there's one but the elevated angle from venom's is going to get the job done 
And it'll be the second round for Paketa. Yeah, that was that was a really clunky way to play a 2v1 right there, man. My goodness, almost giving him those isolated duels there. Somehow he was able to just stay alive for so very long. I live in expectations right there. Honestly, outperforming expectations throughout the entirety of that round. Able to do a lot of damage to the economy, making that one expensive. For Paketa, a lot of reinvestments coming through towards the tail end there from that round. So some good signs coming through from W7M Academy. But of course, it is going to be a more eco approach here. Oh, oh what's Banana. going Hello. on? Fully blinded. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I don't know what's happening anymore. It's the anti-eco though. And I guess it's clean enough for Paketa. 3-1 is the scoreline. So, Colt, we didn't really have a chance to talk through the map veto, but yeah. first map here is Inferno. So, pick a W7M, but seems normal. seems normal. The second map was picked in by Piketa. That's Vertigo. The statistics on this map make absolutely no sense. A whopping 0% win rate out of both teams on the map of Vertigo. And the maps, the times that Piketa have played Vertigo, they haven't even gotten the double digits in rounds. I'm not sure why they decided to bring it out here. I mean, that that's going to be a really, like, just wild map to watch whenever we get there. Okay, right? Yell. He's going really clunky on it, but look at that play. Yell just again sent it to the Wolves. Tries to play around the smoke phase up there, but not going to happen here. Nithon left in no man's land. He'll get overrun by the apartments. Pop right there, and three on... Five quickly on the A side retake is not that easy. LA will at least pull one back, but I, I don't know how much they're gonna really invest in going for this one. We know the odds are so low whenever it comes to these post plants. And a bit of a disconnected A side hold. Yell was thinking he could make a play through middle, and Nithon was more or less caught unawares by the fact that they could be up in the apartments and already out into pit. So, a bit awkward there. But yeah. So, this map is, you know, reasonable. W7M actually put up a good scoreline against MIBR on this map. I believe it was 16 13, 16 14. If I could pull that up. But Vertigo ha is a whole diff different other story. <laughs> and it's going to be a slugfest. I'm, I'm happy that it's our second map because we're guaranteed to see it. Yeah. No kidding, it's just going to be madness, I feel like. Both teams looking a little bit uncomfortable on it. I've actually cast a Paketa on it, and uh, again, just doesn't look like they have the, the like stability on this map. They have the players, right? We actually talked about it, but we've both casted Nithon on this map. Works some absolute magic. Yeah. So that's definitely a possibility here, but, you know, it's not a game of individuals all the time, and mm -hmm. if you're not being able to coordinate... Your defense, especially on Vertigo, man, you got to be nailing down the defense. And it, it's really going to be trialing for, for, I guess, your own map pick. Like this setup. Two players get into position. Not necessarily at the very start of the round, but they let a T potentially pass and it could work out Wonders Yell. In the midst of a duel, a firefight. Steps forward. But nothing giving on either side of the map for each squad. Python's going to get himself back into position towards Arch. There's looking like it's going to be a dry peak here. And that could be quite the, the tough luck there. But Python unable to connect the shot. Destiny, though. This cubby, it's not good enough. Jay-Z flicks over in time, saves the squad. And now Nithon could be in some serious trouble from Graveyard. He could get pincered in from multiple different angles. I'd hate to be this off right now. Thinking he can pop up. He does, though. He picks up one. Yell, though, falls. And then the apartments play comes through. And W7M. At least a dispensed kill on the back end. But Venom Zara is not going to give this one a go. W7M will pick up their third T-side round. And that one just looked very simple right there. 
from W7M. They find some really effective brackets control. You can see they don't need the utility with the way that they take it. A nice quick swing comes through from the initial entry. And then the op goes and backs him up right there. So it's very effective uh, ways to bypass the op without having to show your hand with like a smoke or a flash or anything like that. And then the wrap is so suffocating as well with how patient they were. They actually cleared out both arches and library before they're ever pressing the issue. So W7M just working some real magic in terms of the map control here on this T side of Inferno. You guys continue to impress right now. Exciting stuff. I mean, I'm, gl I'm glad to see this level of depth out of them, right? Coming through here. They have uh, so much to prove here. Mm -hmm. As this is like their, their big chance right now. I've made it through the open qualifiers. A team that probably I, I don't think anyone would have expected them to make it through. And Yeah, they took down Bestia for goodness sake. 2-0. Yeah, 2-0. No less. That's a hell of a move from Venom Zara. He just leaps up from the barrels and gets on top of half walls. He's got the movement And the opening kill, but what about that round? Still more to impress. Uh, Stormzint does not recognize that there's a barrel on his screen, and now he does. He's looking for this. Ale is dead. Third time's the charm. He had about 10 seconds. To... <laughs> he had a lot of time. To line up that shot. Does it get it easier than that? Probably not fully aware of his positioning right there. Got a really good first map in his uh, first game versus 9Z, but he fell off big time in that second uh, map. If you remember, he was like a, a little bit of a liability mm -hmm. in some sense. I'm looking to him to step up here, but look at this stack towards B. A lot of pistols here, but this boost is going to be deadly from Venom's Zero Headshot angle, but the flashes continue to catch. Oh, they've gone past his angle. Oh, boy. This is going to be painful in just a moment as the whole site defense gets cleared out. And Nython is going to think twice about this. Hold on. Yeah, I like this. Destiny has found himself an AK. And he's going to go ahead and juggle that one over to Nython, who's going to come back in towards t-spawn and get his ak but overall w7m just pick up the clean anti ale had his m4 and a chance but that's all it was at the end of the day so yeah we have yet to tell all the stories that are behind the w7m players utterly new to the scene this team only forming about Three months ago. I don't want to be the say, one to say not a lot to talk about. Because they're going to kind of make their story here in this closed qualifier. It's maybe just the beginning of something. Yeah, I mean, the key is these are a lot of young players here. So this is their chance to kind of uh, pave their own path right now. I think they've already done so by making it through the uh, open qualifier. And now it's just about you know, proving themselves here forward. And uh, continuing to put in that good work here. They've been doing throughout the uh, entirety. And I mean, you can see it in some of the ways that they play here. It's very coordinated. They've got some good pressure points applied right now to this defense. In terms of wrapping, in terms of taking this map control. Once again, they look to apply that pressure. And look at this. W7M. Going for this apartments pop. Yell on the sight hold. Trying to put up anything, but he faces a flood of T's out the apartments. Nython's dead as well. Destiny, too many angles to look at. He can only be good for one. And once again, relegated to spamming smokes is Paketa as W7M at plant. Under threat from that nade. Who storms in so low on the site, but dodges out. No kills on the back end. And once again, another clean execute and another save for Paketa. Immediately forcing their hand. And these apartments pops are so deadly. They have caught consistently Paketa off guard in some of these defensive movements here. And so we'll see if they ever figure out a, a way to really batten down the hatches on this A side, man. Again, Venom's there. has been playing a little bit of rotate strike at the moment. Now, 
getting a chance to really activate. Get too loud in the server, and you know what he can do. This capability is so high. Just need a, more time being bought here from some of the A defenders. They're just not ready for some of the, the uh, aggression that's coming through from W7M, so. Timeout being called here. Yeah, I think it's it's perfectly timed right now because they got to start mm -hmm. figuring out ways to deal with this pressure. The C side as possible. is finding like every single open avenue right now. They take apartments control absolutely silently. There's no Molly to meet the T side or any counter utility that can stop that play. Feels like in these mid rounds, there isn't any information game as well. That can telegraph that kind of hit from Paqueta. They're kind of in the dark in a couple of these rounds. It's probably why Yell wasn't 100% ready for that apartments play. And especially when you're still holding your lane setup, that probably speaks more to that than anything. So, caught off guard, Paqueta, but a tactical timeout to try and iron things out. Yeah, taking some time here. Going for a lot of tricky setups. I'm not sure how necessary, you know, some of that is, right? Right now you are dealing with an academy roster with a not, uh, with limited experience, right? Okay. You can just deal with them, but look at this. Flash through the smoke. Destiny still pops his head off and spots out more aggression here, but they're going to get caught in a little bit of a traffic jam in apartments. Bailed out by Yellow Knight on, though. That's some excellent, excellent play from Destiny. The flick over and then the instant, just instant reaction to pop on through. But Satsane... He's opping towards the arch side with past his teammate Smoke and is going to collect two kills. Now, Ale has this entire B side of the map cordoned off. Yes. But these two players can work. I mean, especially Ooh. when you're in the graveyard position. Jay-Z, is he going to get the spot on Destiny? Just can't see him. Oh, just pops up and falls down, but deletes <laughs> Destiny. And there's just one more player here in mini pit. Yell, though. Oh, they're going to disrespect him. There was one more test he had to pass. And it's now up to Sadzine. 35 seconds. Now getting flanked. And this could just lock in the round with them all. Leave. Yell out in the open. But Ale picks his time perfectly to swing. Paketa will just barely get it. But even in the 2v5, W7M made it competitive. Yeah, dropping so many guns, making that round not easy at all. Very well should have been in the lockdown. Three on, or two on five, actually. Nearly gets pulled back into a pretty scary clutch situation in the 2v2. Some nice shooting from W7M to make that one expensive. And they still have plenty of money to reinvest here. We'll see if they can keep on finding that success. Again, playing things standard here is something that they need to do. Very fast-paced here. Aggression coming through. Ninth on an alley, ready to deal with it, though. This is a bold position to take when you're on 15 HP. Sees the headshot. Nython, this is the position you take the AWP? I mean, fair enough. It's a one quick scope and holding on to the man advantage and even furthered by Yell. Last player here is Sadzine. Another clutch, but dare I say this one is very doable. As a 1v1 on the site with Venom Zera. But this shot is going to have to be blazing fast. He's hoping that his opponent plays his hand, but not to be. Going to creep down bottom banana, Sadzine. Has to deal with his off angle from Destiny. Very difficult, but he wins it. Oh, man. And now the race is on. Can he beat Yell? To this A site, he's going to get in towards lane. I think Yell is going to get here first, but he's going to be patient. He's going to wait. Oh, and Sadzine, is he just the puppeteer? Is he just the master manipulator? He crosses oh back God. over to Arch site, and he has Yell. He's about to catch Yell absolutely just clueless. Kill is there. Smoke down towards Moto and the plant. An ace clutch. Some real depth. Venom Zara's going to hear him, though, running around on towards hay bales now. He should have him dead to rights, but he's made it in towards the apartments just in time. Oh, he has it in the palm of his hands now. Does he recognize this? 
Venom Zara? He's going to clear up pit first. No way. Is he going to clear apartments now? Made oh, he noise. drops down. Oh, this game. I think it's just up. This there's. I don't think there's any losing this if you're Sod Zine. I mean, you have to think he's in the apartments now. Fake defuse. Is there time? No way. It comes down to this. Oh, oh no. man. How? He got that kill. I mean, I don't know how, what to say. How to characterize that round? Is it tragic? Is it a savior moment from Venom Zara? <laughs> W7M, I feel like Sadzine had that in the palm of his hand, but it's just by the milliseconds that that defuse comes in. Oh, it's absolutely tragic for poor Zadzany, man. Just clawing that round back, completely working. Piketa right there in every angle he took, and even in the 1v1, man, he outplayed him, but he just beat the second too soon here. Storm's in, looking to get activated here towards second mid destiny, looking to deal with him. Hyper aggression here from W7M in the early rounds, but it's the same case for Destiny, and he gets dealt with. Finally, but there's a follow up. Nython's also going to be making a move and doesn't actually collect his kill. 2 HP to his name. But W7M are also battered in their own respect, so a multi kill potential here from Paketa. So. Relatively close round here. I thought I'm going to get onto the MP9 here with 1 HP. It just feels like you're going to be so useless with that little HP. But we'll see if he can do anything, if he can make any magic happen in an off angle or a surprise. Meanwhile, W7M not overextending or anything, waiting to group up here before they ever pull the pin on an execution, which is exactly how you want to play these man advantage situations. But Ali is in a Hall's great pop. spot. For the Hall's pop, this is where you want to be. You dodge out on all the flashes. So first player to leap on out. Next, though, no good. Ali could not convert. Nithon in the sight. Duck spraying and gets wall banged and finished. Yell also drops. And that's the round. W7M continue to keep pressing right now. They're looking like the better unit than Paketa consistently. Yeah, out no positioning question. and it's all very early on they're trying to establish this control here they're forcing them back consistently man the amount of times that i've just seen them throw some really good utility to back paketa off of these aggressive positions and then land the uh the entries to follow it up it's really promising out of these guys and if they can continue that they're going to be building up a great half. They're already in that position right now. Money's not great. Save coming through from Venom's area. I mean, you can see man, that some of the aggressive movements out of Destiny are met with so much opposition. So much force from second mid. We've seen some very aggressive take of brackets. Even B, that didn't work out as well. But still, you have that, that tool in your arsenal to pull out any time. You know what I'm really taking away from W7M is just that their their team play is great. As a squad, they have a game plan. It's it honestly looks a lot more well put together, and it probably speaks dividends to why they can put such a fight against MIBR. But this is a great position. Venom Zara past the tease Molly. Last thing that Jay Z expects there. An O Storm scene, you do not want to try that. Now, up towards this B site, though, is where the real play is happening. Three T's creeping up banana, but they're taking their time and allowing Destiny to also get back into position. Players are here, but as he smokes, fade the P2000 of, of Ale deals 150 damage and a kill. Now, an AK is rotating onto the scene here. Boost can come through to take that elevated oh, angle. Oh, man. Zeddy's covering, so he should be taken down as soon as he pops his head up. There's that flash, though. Look at that diligence coming through from Venom Zera. Excellent. And now Zeddy is on 10 HP and in a 1v3. It's done. Paketa pick up a full eco. Wow, beautiful round right there from Venom Zera. Man, I got to give him so much credit. Alia as well. 
But Venom Zara, man, he, I think he was so tired of having to rotate over towards that A-bomb site that he decides he's going to start there initially, take that fight towards second mid, wins out that early duel, does some good damage, forces their hand into B. That's where Ali was able to step up and do some good chip damage and a kill. But then that flash, man, that, that little extra element on the boost right there to help him out, man, that really locks in around... And like we said, man, we were talking about W7M being the better team here as of recent, but that's the sort of elements that you get out of a great team right there. It's Venom Zara again, able to open up proceedings. Takes a lot of damage for it, but look at Night Dog. Oh, oh, it's so well played! They heard the scope, they leap in front of the door, but Yell, oh, the backstab on this, but they're gonna it's get around late. the corner in time. Okay, Yell, he'll get his one, but I feel like, is that enough? Piketa. Still have lost the sight, and Sadzine, though, is late in rotation with the bomb. Yell is gonna drop it. Yell making a big individual play for Paketa, and I think that could just lock in the rounds, because W7M, they have the A sight, but they're marooned without the bomb. Storm's in. To advance, MAC-10. Gonna fight around the corner. Venom's there just waiting for his teammates' contact, or maybe you don't even need to wait. Destiny delivers a headshot. ZA, 1v3. Firing squad awaits him first kill. Second, though! And now it's a 1v1. ZA has just dropped in two immaculate headshots. And oh my god, he's going to play the patient game. He could see Ale jump into the apartments. And now he knows. Oh. The jig's up. He has a fight versus Ale if he wants it. The swing, but no good on the fight. ZA wanted to brawl, but Ale will give it to him. What a... Like, again, heroic effort coming through here. If they could have just closed out on a couple of these clutches, man, it would give that much extra oomph to this half for them. But making magic happen and then just falling barely short at the last second, absolutely heartbreaking once again. Nice try coming through there, but W7M going to give back that lead to Paketa. They'll take that one. Look to take the reins here as well as with this lacking purchase. Bringing a whole lot. Oh my! He just starts it right on off, besting the op. Okay. He just ran out middle and deleted the first person he's. Oh. Oh man, the team play excellent out of W7M. And then they have some individuals to back it up. This team's starting to develop in my mind as why they're such a contender. And so from qualifier. Yeah, man, they definitely they definitely deserve their spot to be here from what I've seen so far, man. Really putting up a good fight. Paquete have a whole lot of strong individuals on their team as well, and the fact that they're making them look a bit silly in some of these rounds. Very impressive from some of these young guns. Can they keep it up though here? They gotta get past this brackets. Venom's there is a first line of defense, and I wouldn't want to mess with them either. And he's got more help as well towards brackets. It's locking things down with coverage towards apartments as well. Zara on the hold, and ZA Jeez. delivers another Deagle headshot. Three players swing, and ZA gets a third. Now it's Ale inside a pit. Oh, it's going to be so claustrophobic. Pistol jumping at him every angle. ZA has gotten four on the Desert Eagle. He has an op now. It's a 1v2 for Yell. Such little investment here, and now it is only Yell in an A-side retake here. And Foku going to play around the smoke. Will that work in his favor, though? He's oh, it absolutely will. But just on the edge of the smoke, he doesn't recognize it. Yell, though, certainly he'll start making some moves, some noise. Foku has revealed his position. He's trying to stick that defuse. Yell deals with ZA, but now he's got to take his sweet old time. But you've got to... No, 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 no. No, no, no. you just got to take the kill. you just got to go for the shot. You can't go for the knife there. I know you've got the Glock. That should have been W7M's round. That should have been ZA's oh. moment. There's no way, man. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. That is absolutely wild right there. That That's just tough to watch right there. Are they buying oh. double ops? Um. Okay. There was just a mispurchase there as... Double up in front of T-Side. You know, everything. see that every day, and I think for good reason. It's just very inefficient. You see, this is... 
What's Sod Zines up to? I mean, they have two ops on Banana. It just doesn't really make sense. I guess it's in case your first player misses their shot, I guess. It's gonna compound the frustration. All these lost rounds. All these small errors, man. These just awkward mistakes here, but they can still recover, get an eight, seven, half. That's it's very workable. All silent drop from Storms in. As he tries to get it out of apartments, that HE did do no damage. Foku moving forward here. This is going to be a pretty nasty contact play to deal with. Oh, Venom's era back of the site. And he's going to deal with the first challenger, Venom's era. Another old man. He's looking for sights, but he's out of oh. bullets and searching for a gun to pick up. Jay Z will run him down. Plant. He'll be safe enough from Sadzine. And so there's a timer on this round now. Little utility as well from the CT side, especially with Ale down to 17. That nade should have finished the job, but maybe the Molly will do the trick. Ale in the middle of the open. Nithon, though, delivers the frag on the flank, and now the net begins to close on the T's here on the site. Jay-Z, though, drops down. Sadzine dealt with. Nithon cleans the last one, and that'll allow Piketa to take a 9-6 lead at the half. Many opportunities for W7M. But Piketa are going to sift through all of that. We'll be back in just a bit.
Well, maybe we just saw some egregious rounds out of W7M, and they're going to need to pick themselves back up and try to take this one to the house against Paqueta, who are looking individually on form. That is certainly something to talk about as we're heading on to this second half. And fine, we call extra McHenry. Sadzine, though, still feeling confident, and Destiny is immediately out of this pistol round. Paqueta have to play from behind. They've gone through the ringer there for sure in that first half, but they still have a whole lot of firepower to this roster, and they can oh, yeah. put it on full display. There's no question. First two opening picks going their way. Jay-Z getting a flash as well for another opportunity. Oh, it looks my. so clean. Venom is there jumping, diving, ducking around, and still gets taken down. This group of young guns from W7M are really putting in the hurt. ZA delivers another, and that's the round. W7M. A flawless pistol. You know, overall, I'll say they played the better Counter-Strike back on that second half. Just some wild individual moments from Paqueta Delivered. If you remember that little 5-7 spray transfer from Destiny to win the force by. And then a couple of clutches gone awry. W7M could easily be the player, the team, with a 9-6 lead. I mean, so, I felt like... I felt like two like guaranteed clutches with that one where LA had gotten spotted outplayed essentially and still won the ending duel right there yeah and then the, the other defuse. defuse that comes through and then the the last one with just like the Glock you know <laughs> incident I'll say that uh three three clutches that just simply sh shouldn't have been lost three rounds I think we right? should stop so. saying incident and just call it call it what it is a calamity Cole <laughs> yeah no that's fair <laughs> But I mean, that's three rounds right there that they should have had in the half. And so I, I agree with you. You're right. They they uh, they played the better half. They just didn't win some of the key moments right there. So if they can take that energy into a defensive half, which I mean, we saw from that pistol, they certainly can. They'll still be shaped up to be just uh, just fine, in my opinion. Oh my! Nice eight damage dink coming out from the Glock. In CS2, I don't know. Wall bangs in CS2, that's something to talk about. Oh, is it, is it, uh, more damage from the wall bangs? Oh, yeah. Have you seen, like, the Negev spams and, like, oh, yeah, yeah, Dusty's? Yeah. Okay. okay, we have a weird round here. Four players have just snuck into spawn Whoa. on an insane timing against Jay. He's about to get overrun. First kill is his, yes. Now he's to spin for multiple, but he somehow got three. And that's all that matters. MP9's clean house, $3,000 pocket, didn't kill reward bonus, and the second round for W7M. Overrun who, you said? Not me. Not him. Not Jay-Z. No way. Not catching him off. Well, I guess you can catch him off guard. He's too quick for you, though. Very nice recovery. They're in a very dire situation. I mean, if that first contact was taken towards CT spawn, I feel like that round easily spirals, but... Able to uh, land that first fight makes the job a little bit easier for the rest of the fights. But there's still three MP9s in play. But on the other side of things, everyone has AKs here. So a clear wide advantage here. But good control taken in the meantime. Paqueta, though, silently take brackets control. And now Jay-Z is going to be in for some trouble. You did not dare swing that again. Thanks for the flash. And I like this for Piquet to put on the pressure. Keep these CTs locked in place. Grouping up for this banana take right now. Is that he? Oh, Is he spotting? He They're see really anything. playing this close angle right now to avoid exactly what he's doing right now. Jump spotting. But he must have spotted something because it was enough to... Encourage him to play a more passive approach. And now they'll be able to get that smoke down with 45 seconds. That's a big gap, though, and that's a deep smoke. Oh, but it's done enough here. I think it's done just enough to force him back and towards what? A. 30 seconds? A 30-second A play. Okay, if they're making their execute now, then there can't be much a threat and much a problem 
in this play. A double pit setup is definitely hard to extract in this one. Sadzi doesn't even go for the extinguish, though. Doesn't play his life. And now puts it all in the storm zine where Ale drops down and takes him out. It's going to be the first gun round going to Paketa. A lot of repositions right there. That's a good look from the T side from Paketa. Working that map control. Retaking Banana late into the round. That's just a textbook of how you want to play out some of the uh, pressure that was applied onto them right there. You know that they have that Banana control. You know that that's being prioritized. So you need to take some space back from them to make sure that you're not walking into a, a huge stack. And they just worked that map really well right there. It's... A good sign here. We'll see if that continues, right? Take that brackets control early. Go and re-clear out control of B, and then you can, you know, decide what you want to do there, but it's kind of a formula for success, especially when you're up against the lacking weaponry. Even then, on the bonus, W7M are still struggling for a purchase. So what have we learned so far about this squad? Boy, do they have good aim. And I think it's not necessarily like the macro strategy that's good, but they're very good off of playing off of each other. Yeah, I think they've got some like really good off spawn reads and calls mm -hmm. from maybe just like, uh, I would have to guess like time spent together. Like maybe these guys have been playing together for quite some time, whether it be in pokes or something along those lines. I'll hold that thought though was sad in and and Jay-Z gonna lock things down nicely towards that arch side of things. Jay-Z still has more hand. Oh, swings in for another. Look at this squad heating up. Playing off of each other so well. The double arch setup is perfect. The bomb is down. Storm's in. Down the edge of the smoke, but gets spotted by Yell. So two kills go back the way of Paketa. And HP about equal between these two sides. Bomb has to be relinquished. And now some worry can get set in here from... W7M. They might think that the T's have gone towards that B site, but oh, this kill's too free from ZA. Headshot delivered on a yell. Ale gets the bomb. Where does he bring it? Spam through the smoke there. That gives up his position, so... You, at one point, had Jay-Z on the other side of the map without full confirmation of where he is, but now he could still just dive back in towards that A side, and you're still going to have a chance in the 1v2 here. But it all depends on if Sede encroaches forward. That's what he's doing right now, pressing the issue here, but just turning that corner in time, Ali's going to avoid it for now. It's on the A site. Ali's going to plant at the back of it. A fake? Oh, oh no, no, no. You're about to play yourself. You have just played yourself, my friend. He has to stare as it, at his opponent, taking him out with the MP9. ZA locks it in. Nine rounds for W7M, and the game gets ever closer. Yeah, they just played that one way too slow. Like you said, just playing yourself every second. You're not getting that bomb down. There's another second that they take more information, more control. And that cost him big time right there. Let's well, not go in their way there. Very aggressive. Approach gets punished. And it's still a good defensive, good coordination coming through on that CT side. Taking that banana control here early, though. A lot of emphasis put on this side of the map. In the meantime, though, it's W7M giving over that control. Saying, hey, you can take it if you want. We're going to go ahead and play back on that site. Hold on to our utility for as long as possible. I feel like this round is going to have a scrappy finish. Both teams are running out of utility. No flashes. So it'll come down to straight gunfights, basically. That's my theory. It's going to get scrappy. God, it makes it, these crossfires super powerful. There's nothing to break it. Smoke back in from Sadzi, and I think it's pretty well-timed. 
force them into your balcony and pit setup. That's going to turn this A-Site into the meat grinder. We'll see. Stormzine on the balcony. Jay-Z getting forced out. We can play around the edge of his own smoke. Decides to charge forward, though, with the MP9. And then the setup breaks apart. Sadzine at least has the finishing frag on the site to give W7M the advantage in the retake. They're going to charge. From Are they They're going to charge just instantly in? Retake. They're going to just charge in. No flashes, no smokes, no nothing. Nython plays his hand. Now Gel can play off of his teammate. Or how about Nython just zaps the whole team? Another beam out of this man. Now it's Zede in the clutch. Up top, he spots out Yell. He gets a dink. So close from Zede. But it's Paketa who rebound and take 11. It's just another heartbreaking 1v1 loss right there. It's so close. It comes down to the wire. You even land the headshot. You do what you need to do, but it's just through the wall. And it's just not enough once again. And it's really costing W7M these clutches here every single time. They're losing them. It's another step closer for Paketa. That's now four 1v1s closed out from him. That's yeah. Just, I mean, maybe that one a little bit less wild, less advantageous, but it's just as heartbreaking. It's still a chance, which is just like... Ooh. It's tough, but oh, Ale with an HE in his hand. It's only the MAC-10 need to be losing, but the Util Belt might be worth just a bit more than that. Tempted in. Like a moth to the flame. Ollie's gonna clean up one. Into B site play. Zede on his deagle has just been a fiend. He scrapes away one. Okay. On the flood in. Yell's gonna be able to Clean up the anchor. It does get a sight line, but Destiny will deny. And that's going to be Paketa moving up to 12. Yeah, man. So many close rounds. Like, this could easily just been a flipped game. I said it earlier at the start, but I think it's extremely real. The amount of 1v1s that W7M have lost. It's really unfortunate, to be honest. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but also when you're coming through with a lot of uh, younger and inexperienced players, I'm not even saying that these guys are playing clutches back, but it can be the hardest to just lock in that last round that you need or that last kill that you need to complete what you know you can do, what you know you're capable of, but you, you haven't really been able to you know, get that time under your belt to prove consistently, right? I think that's a huge key right now in the clutches that they're losing. Because you see in those first, like, sequences, uh, when you saw uh, Sadsen almost win that incredible pullback ace clutch, mm -hmm. when you see, uh, who was it? Jay-Z? Yeah. Play yeah, Zede for that matter with the Deagles, but uh, Jay-Z in that, that clutch where he spots him, catches him in towards yeah. uh, apartments. apartments like, and takes the duel. You see how well they're playing. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough in the end. Piketa. Right now, they just have immediately the right read off of spawn. W7M gamble a lot of players towards B, handing over all this bracket control. And already, the T side is in CT spawn, 25 seconds into the round. But Venom Sarah not ready for the library play, and Destiny is removed. Now, the pit setup comes to be tested. Jay Z on the site with Storms in inside of the pit. Jay Z wrapping around, and that's another clean kill out of a W7M player. This was looking dead. The call wasn't quite there, but the kills are all here for W7M. Ale leaps out in the lane to his doom. A flawless one out of W7M. Shooting their way out of a very awkward situation right there. Fantastic job in. Holding down despite losing some of that early map control. It can be so terrifying, but making that FAMAS thing as well there. Jay-Z now on 20 kills. What an incredible work for his team right there. And that's an important win, right? Because it's flawless. You get those AKs in your hands now. And you can start to re-inspire here. A whole lot more confidence. We'll see.
timeout called out from Baketa trying to you know, stabilize off the back of that loss. All right, so W7M pick up a very inspiring round of their own, and it puts Baketa down to very low money. Sure, three AKs with full kits, but Deagles beside them. W7M pick up this round, and, and all this misfortune that's kind of beset you this game, all these big moments that have just been missed. Can all be redeemed. Yeah, no question. Very close to breaking that economy just with a couple deagles here that they have to offer. And the AKs alongside it. Opportunity. Gonna loom ahead of them. Taking that banana control though is very valuable. And the bomb's kind of following suit here. So it's going to be a pretty stock standard defensive movement here from them. So that can be a little bit scary once the execute rains their way. Wow. That flash draws out some information, but now the pop, the play, leaping around the corner. Venom Zara gets himself into spawn, so that's an extra angle to the site, but Zede leaps forward and gets a triple kill. This guy's impact is unmatched right now, and they know exactly where Venom Zara is. They are completely prepared. Just, they know he dived into spawn. His position's noted. And this round is over. W7M. Another flawless CT hold. They are pressing Paketa right now. Tossing in that utility, that execution. It looked like they should have been caught off guard every day of the week. But Zeddy just shoots his way out of that situation. Fantastic job from him. I cannot believe it. How clean holding on to that round looks for them. W7M with the just beautiful round right there as well. Their money's starting to really build. Three AKs now in their hands. Everyone has to be ready for this clawback right now, man. Everyone has to be building in that confidence. It is looking fantastic. Eight Gs <laughs> just punishing Yell. Just go ahead and finish the job there. The AK should do the trick. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but Zede is here and arriving to the scene. Oh, my goodness. This man has had a hell of a map. And he has more targets coming his way. Six bullets in the mag, though. Doesn't matter. He's going to collect a third. The nade is also just going to finish Destiny off completely. And Ale, 1v3 with 28 HP, though. First kill goes his way. Has to beat Jay-Z, though, in a straight head-to-head. -head, but Bates out on the peak. Jay-Z hits him with the swing, though. 12 all. Some damage dealt, sure, for Paketa. But the confidence is still there at a W7M. It's anyone's game going in down to the later end of Inferno. There's no question about that right now. Up in the air, but I can see W7M really building in some confidence right now. And putting some pressure on Paketa. Paketa feel like a couple of these rounds they definitely have in the bag. I mean, think about what we have to look forward to up next as well, man. It, that That's anyone's game. With both teams having that 0% win rate. <laughs> <laughs> so it puts all the extra effort here, right? If Piketa can lock in an Inferno victory, they'll be put in a great spot. Less pressure on Vertigo, but if they don't, then Elimination looms here, and their chances at Katavita or ESL Challenger could just drop right then and there. Okay, don't want to put on the pressure here. The B site. Venom Zara has gotten this initial spot, and they're being silent about their approach. Zeddy will now deploy his smoke. Paketa don't really want to jump through this. And with that hesitation, a third rotate has arrived. Be a certain death sentence if they decide to leap through. Sadzin thinking about making a move as the smokes fade. Fires off an op shot, perhaps as bait. In the meantime, the lurk up. Destiny has a 1v1 fight. In the meantime, Sadzin actually goes down. So with Destiny poking and prodding, they're going to turn and burn back to A. Storms are getting out of that pit position here, taking a mini pit spot. Now they have a crossfire sight. 
and pit, but this is a very strong way to deal with it. Destiny coming in through and long range storms and able to finish him off. And now they just have to buy time for rotations, but the overwhelming presence of Nikon does come through eventually. Jay-Z just needs to lock in a couple kills. Zeddy comes in for help and Foku as well. Now the lead gets claimed and enough deterrence gets done with some very fast reactions from W7M to defend right there. Man, and it came down to the wire too. Paketa were doing well to put on the pressure. To be a nuisance, Destiny got his way all the way up the arch side. But W7M, the crossfire is too strong. With low time remaining, they get the job done. And looking to secure their map pick. And go on to the uncharted territory of Vertigo. And uh, it also helps that Storms in spot of the entire team in all middle. So completely prepared for this potential play. Is W7 Ab. I mean they just have way too many presents here. On this safe bomb set, look how ready they are for this. Oh, almost a collateral, but he doesn't get overrun just yet. He needs some help from his rifler there. Is Zeddy able to step up eventually? And he does find two, man. He does deliver. A little bit scary with Venom Zera now in the op and a soul B player. But it all depends on where Paketa want to end things off right now in this 3v4. As retaking of control comes through from these A players here, they're looking to reestablish this foothold. And now this is where Venom Zera can strike perfectly. Oh, but Storm Zane deletes. Ale, though, spins around and gets a free kill with that Tech-9, but turns away just as Jay-Z rounds the corner. Nython's going to prioritize the plant, to which I respect, but the clutch a lot less likely. Stormzine going up, up, up and Jeez. above. Nython gave himself the best chance, but it will be W7M's round. They're going to march to 14. Go ahead and give him an NT in chat right there, but... Not enough, and like you said, able to lock that one in. Scary round for sure. There's opportunities that came with Venom's there on that op. If he didn't get just absolutely decimated instantly with the headshot, then some real hope could have been uh, inspired right there from them, but still not enough. Still opportunities dwindling here for Bakata on this map right now. That bomb plant's giving them every tool at their disposal, though. You can see, and as I had said before, man, sometimes with the young guns... With the new faces, the lack of experience here, like that uh, W7M and Cav, finding that 15th and 16th round, it could be the most difficult. Starting off, though, it's looking great. The boost absolutely read into there by Zeddy. Twenty-seven kills for this man. He has been all over this play. Especially in the late round right now, man. He has been delivering round after round late into this game. It just doesn't look like he's missed a beat. Another boost assembled as Destiny spots an op while he's over there, and that's gonna immediately prompt the rotation back towards the A site. being slow about it and that molly so well timed buys time for that rotate perfectly placed there in apartments and smoke follows suit look at this national crossfire that they have to get through here blinded up storms and still finds the kill and all the rotations arriving onto the scene foku has backup man player in mini pit hasn't even revealed his position and nikon's already in a 1v4 finally <laughs> he gets his chance to jump up but storms and takes it away anyways and it's going to be map point here on the map pick of W7M Gathered. This is looking fantastic from them. The young guns here are looking to give the old dogs of Piketa a rude awakening. Players like Destiny and Yell have been in the scene for years on years. Competed at majors. Been on some of the most successful Brazilian teams. Versus the unknowns, that is W7M. This team only formed three months ago. And now are looking on track to pull up a pretty big upset. First, they took down Bestia in the open qualifier to even get to this point. 
And they're showing Paqueta why they deserve to be here. Yeah, I found a fantastic, I mean, just gold mine of, of talent right here on W7M for this to be an academy team right now, man. Picked up some really strong individuals right now that coordinated beautifully. Yes, oh, Sads and almost plucks a head out. Almost makes Destiny watch from the sidelines with what could be the last round of the game. There haven't been many heroes out of Paqueta this one. It's been W7M taking over the scoreboard. Jay-Z, Sadson, and Zeddy especially have been so darn impressive. But they might not have a say in this round, really. Sadson and Zeddy off the site. Storms and needs to put up the hold, but he falters versus Yell. And now just Jay-Z here. On the A site in a literal 1v5, about to be surrounded from every angle possible, but the rotates are beginning to arrive. The flanks are here. JC delivers, and in a literal 1v5, the cavalry arrives. W7M pick up Inferno. Now, I feel like we've been saying that all half on this A bomb site. As soon as you think that they're overwhelmed, all of a sudden you have the entire team coming through and showing up and delivering those kills to just make the job on these A players all the more easy right there. It was something we didn't see as well.